So today's lesson, we're looking at the mean, the mode, the median, and the range, which is part of our data and statistics unit. Okay, so these are all types. I'll put here types of averages. Okay, types of averages. Now, the very first one that I'll look at is what we all probably recognize as being the normal average. Okay, how do you find the average number from a group of numbers? Well, you would simply add all the numbers together. So add all the numbers together. And then we divide by the total numbers, number of scores. Okay, so add all. In fact, what I might say is we're going to use add all the scores together. That's probably a better um, accurate description. So add all the scores together and then divide by the total number of scores. So, you know, if oh, we'll have a look at the, we'll say there's four, five, six, six, and um, three. So I'd simply do four plus five plus six plus six plus three and I'll divide it all by one, two, three, four, five scores. And that will total whatever that calculator would say. All right, so that's the mean. And that's often what we say as our normal average, but certainly these are all types of averages. Um, the mode, which is called the most common. Okay, the most common number. I've um, underlined the MO in mode because if you think about mode and most, they have the same two first letters. So mode and uh, most, the most common number. In this case, you look at this and say, six would be the most common number. The median, which is often the most challenging one to find, the median is the middle number when ordered. Okay, so the middle number when ordered. So what you need to do is put these numbers in order. So I've got three, then four, then five, then six, then six. So I want to find the middle number. So all I need to do here to find the middle number is I'm going to cross one off from either end, cross one off from either end, so I get one middle number. In this case, the median would be five. There are the occasional times where you might get two middle numbers, okay? So two middle numbers. In that case, we find their average by adding them together and dividing by two. So for example, let's say we had three, four, five, six, six, and eight. I'd cross them off from either end. So cross one off from either end, one off from either end. Then in this case, I had five and six. So I do five plus six and then divide it by two, which will give me 5.5. And in other words, it's a number that goes halfway between five and six, which is five and a half. So that's my medium. You recognize there's one more there, which is the range. Okay, the range, which is the highest score. So the highest score minus the lowest score. So in this particular case, if we're using the original numbers up the top there, I'd say the highest number is six, the lowest number is three. So the range is six take away three, which equals three. Okay, so that's pretty much how you find all those four things. It's not really difficult. You just got to remember what they are. Let's say we've got five, seven, two, three, six, eight, four. Okay, so I'm going to find or ask you to find first of all the mean, then the mode, then the median, and then the range. If you want to pause it, have a quick crack at it, and then see if you can come up with the right answers. Okay, welcome back. So let's have a look at the first of all the mean. So hopefully you went five plus seven plus two plus three plus six plus eight plus four and you divided the whole thing by three, six, seven. So five and seven is twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, um, twenty-three, twenty-three, thirty-one, thirty-five. So that's thirty-five divided by seven, which is equal to five. Okay, let's have a look now at the mode. The mode is the most common number. Now looking at this, see how they're all different numbers. There's no number that occurs at um, 
more, more than once. So I would say there's no mode, okay, for this particular set of data. If there was one more number, then obviously you would have the mode because it's the most common. Um, three, we're looking at the median. Remember, we must have this in order from highest to lowest. Now, when doing this, I'll often cross them off. So I put a two there, then I'm going three, then four, then five, then six, then seven. I didn't mean that to happen before either. It's kind of weird. Eight, I'm just gonna count my numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's correct. So now we can cross them off from highest to lowest. So one, two, one, two, one, one, one middle number, and it happens to be the number of five. And then the last one, which is the range, okay, which is my highest minus lowest. So in this case, it's eight subtract two, which is equal to six. Um, just one thing I will say, when you're finding um, the, the mean and that sort of stuff, there are a couple of times where, where you might get inaccurate results. Let's say, for example, I have this set of data, one, 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 two, three, and 100. Okay, now you might recognize straight away that the 100 is way away from all the other numbers. So if I was to find the mean, for example, we'd have to do 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 100. And I'm going to divide all of that by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. So let's have a look, 100, 103, 108. So I'm going to do 108 divided by 6, and you chuck that into your calculator. Now, I don't have a calculator, so I'll try to do it by hand. So 6 goes into 10 once with 4 left over. 6, 8 to 48, so it'd be 18. So it's saying that my average number is about 18. Now, I look at my set, my set of data. Does 18 look like the average number? Absolutely not. Well, in fact, there's only one score that it got got above 18 or got above 3 for, any, for for instance. So the average of 18 is not really accurate. That 100 is actually what we call an outlier, which unfortunately when you're looking at the average as the mean, okay, it brings your average up because we've included that number, okay, which doesn't make it very accurate. So what what would make it accurate? Well, if we looked at the median for example, Okay, let's go put in order. So 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, and 100. So if I look at the median for this one, I'm going to cross one off from either side, one off from either side. In this case, I've got two middle numbers. So what goes directly in between? Well, 1 and a half does. If I wasn't sure, I could do 1 plus 2 divided by 2, which is the same as 1 and a half. So if I look at 1 and a half and say, does 1 and a half give me an accurate average for this set of data? Then yeah, 1 and a half sort of does because it's sort of halfway between most of those answers there. So in this case, the median would be the best average to use. The mean, however, wouldn't because obviously that outlier dragged those results up. So that's just a quick introduction of the mean, mode, median, and range, um, and a few extra words like outlier, etc. But if, as long as you can find those four pieces of information each time, um, that's going to give you uh, a good starting point for the topic of data and statistics. Hope this is useful, guys. Um, anything else I can do, let me know.